welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a DIY Dollar Tree. I don't know if you guys like miss my intros because I feel like that I used to do like long like 10 minute intros like when I first started doing YouTube and I really really miss doing them. So if you do want to hear Miss Light Chit Chatty sometimes once in a while maybe not all of my videos but let me know in the comments below because I kind of miss it and I kind of like miss talking and I don't know. Like I feel like voiceovers just like aren't like that personal. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree DIY with plungers, you guys. So could you imagine me like going to the store and buying plungers and just having a cart full of like four plungers and I couldn't even imagine what people would think. But anyways, it was only wood sticks I could find because I'm going to be making a table and it wasn't as sturdy when I finished as it is now. You're gonna want wood in place of my cardboard. But anyways, we'll probably do a voiceover and then I'll let you know then anyways. Also, I do wanna show you a couple awesome t-shirts from this awesome company who sent them to me. Thread Tank sent me these super cool t-shirts and they have like little like lounge like sweatshirts. They have like the cutest sayings on them and I absolutely love them. And also they gave me a coupon code for you guys, Kristen10 to get 10% off your order and it's good till June 30th. So the first one they sent me was this. It says be a kind human and I ordered medium and everything and I think that I need to just start ordering large and everything. So I looked in the viewfinder and seen that like my necklace was all messed up. So if that annoyed anybody like that drives me nuts. So they sent me this. It's like a little slouchy sweatshirt and like I said they sent me or I ordered mediums and it does fit to size. I should have ordered large just because I like myself like really big but they're cute anyways. Like I said I roll my sleeves up. The sleeves were a little short on this one but the quality of these are really nice. The t-shirts are super soft. So be a kind human. I really liked that one. And then this one is like these last two are like totally me. This one I loved in this like gray color and it says running on diet coke and dry shampoo. And I've already wore these. They're like dirty but I pulled them out of the dirty clothes just so I could show you guys. And then this one says mom life is the best life and like I said they have the best sayings on their t-shirts and their little sweatshirts. So if you do want to check them out, I will leave their links in the description box below along with my coupon code. Anyways, let's get on to doing some DIYs with plungers. So you're going to need four plungers for this DIY. And I did end up cutting the little bottoms off with a little twisty on it just because I thought that looked terrible. And I did just use the sticks. I just tossed the little plunger part away. And I'm just going to go in with a Waverly chalk paint in white. And I'm going to paint all of the little sticks. Which these are going to be the legs of the table. This wasn't like my first choice of table leg. But that's what they had. So that's what I went with. And then I just picked up eight of these canvases. And this is the only ones they had. So please forgive me for using these. I felt terrible. But I really wanted to make this table. And... I don't think anybody was buying them anyways, so I was just putting them to good use. So anyways, I'm just going to take hot glue and E6000 and glue the four together. Some of these were kind of bowed out just a little bit, so I did have a tiny, tiny bit of issue putting these together, but it wasn't that bad. So anyways, I put four of these together, E6000, hot glue, wait quite a while for them to dry. I even actually waited overnight for them to completely dry. And once all my little wooden canvases were put together, I did paint them white and then Waverly chalk paint in white. I did do three coats because the color was just coming through. And then I took a straight edge and I was trying to make this like a brick or even like a wood type. I really tried really, really hard. I didn't know any other way to do. I did start using contact paper, but the contact paper was not working out. So I took a bunch of chalk paint. I have the Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut and then I also have the Waverly gel wax in antique and I'm just kind of brushing everything along the edges and along the pencil marks that I made so it looks more like a wood type top. And I honestly didn't have the biggest plan when I started doing this. But when the paint was still wet, I did just go in with the white chalk paint and I just kind of went over everything and brushed it just so it wasn't like super like you could tell that I painted it. And then I did just go over as well with the hazelnut and kind of made a bunch of like really crazy lines. And like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to this because I thought I would just use contact paper to start with and then it just did not work out. But this is all I used and like I said, I was just going in and making brush strokes and just moving the paintbrush however I wanted. And if I didn't like it, I just touched it up with a Waverly White, as you could see there. 
Um, so you couldn't tell I messed up that bad, but I love how this turned out. I did it to both pieces. So I took four of the canvases, glued them together, and then I took the other four, glued them together as well. So I had a top and a bottom of this little table. And then once the paint was dry, I just kind of made some little distress marks along the legs as well so it matched the table. And then I just took some E6000 in hot glue and glued my little toilet plunger handles to the corners of all four. And like I said, I did wait quite a while for everything to dry because I was kind of impatient and I started trying to put the top on while the glue was still drying on the bottom and it all fell apart. Trust me, this fell apart four times before I actually got my life together. And then here is where I use the cardboard. I had to put something on top of the legs before I put the top piece of the table on because they were so wiggly and wobbly and the canvases are pretty heavy that these were not holding everything up. So this is like my little barrier or my little thing to hold these legs on. So you see how wobbly they were? This fell apart once on me. So like I said, I did have to do this quite a few times until I got it right. But make sure you put like some thick pieces of wood on the bottom. You could even maybe use like paint stirring sticks or something like that. I think that would work really, really great and put it on all four sides and it'll work perfect. But this is how it turned out. I was really excited. I got to make a table from the Dollar Tree. This was so exciting and I thought this turned out really, really cute. But if you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. And I hope you love my toilet plunger table. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.